I am not a boy, my dear. But by the time I was 13 years old, I had seen it all. <laughs> Floods, starvation, disease. <laughs> Haiti never seemed to catch a break. So when the dead started to rise, and panic overtook my adopted home of Norwich, I was ready to rise. My neighbors were scared. Messed up starting shit with us today. Also, resilient. All they needed was a voice to rally around. And in a moment of pure passion, a moment charged with a desperate drive to make such we all survive, I took the lead. And they listened. But those first few days were pure chaos. Much stronger than a word for you, Tor. And yet, we were able to gain a foothold in the Ninth Ward. We put our collective minds to crawl back into his hole. Set up a scavenger oh. that was both safe and fruitful. Word started getting out. If you wanted to survive, go find Mama and her people. But soon, our community had outgrown the capacity of our perimeter. A decision had to be made. Start turning others away. Or venture forth and establish a new home that could support every lost soul who found their way to our doorstep. I think you can guess what decision I made. The tower will always stand. Mama. Why is he wandering around? Some people don't realize what a s Hate's not a strong enough word oh. for you, tourist!
See you. is just gonna piss me off even more.
That's... Nothing better for you? <laughs> Thank you. 
show your face here? After all you've done? Gonna find you eventually. Weird idea. What if you kept a walker as a pet? Think that's possible? I see you. What a piece of shit you are!
Tourist.
them.
Get the hell out!
that? Scanning the area. Hey, asshole. You can fucking fuck with <laughs> Hold down. Walk in sight. 
finish it quick. When I find you, beg to death. Let's take this asshole down. Case not strong enough work for of course. Cake walk. Last chance to live, fucker. Clear out now. You
Time to make an example of the old man. We have let his transgressions slide for too long. Okay, track him down. Carve him up, hobble him a bit. A patrol had a scrape with a couple of reclaimed in Old Town yesterday. Cyrus got messed up pretty bad, but the savages paid the price. One of the corpses had this drawing on it. Look familiar? <laughs> Doesn't bode well. If that little sh- May Benoit has the waterfall key. Find her. Get it. No reserve without it, understand? Mama's through fucking around with this. Snag Ombra if you have to. Can use the fucking brat as trade bait. This must happen. Going to have to expand this list otherwise. Georgia. I am not a born leader, but by the time I was 13 years old, I had seen it all. Hurricanes, earthquakes, floods, starvation, disease. Haiti never seemed to catch a break. So when the dead started to rise and panic overtook my adopted home of New Orleans, I was ready to rise. My neighbors were scared, but they were also resilient. All they needed was a voice to rally. So a moment of pure passion, a moment charged with a desperate drive to make certain we all survived. I took the lead, and they listened. But those first few days were pure chaos. So much loss, and yet we were able to be a foothold in the ninth world. We put our collective minds to work. Set up a scavenge system that was both safe and powerful. Word started getting out. If you wanted to survive, down. go find Mama and her people. But soon, our community had outgrown the capacity of our perimeter. A decision had to be made. Start turning others away. Or venture forth. And it our battles with the dead in those early days were vicious and exhausting. We had zero control. And the fiends were everywhere. If our community was going to survive and grow, we had to radically rethink our approach. Our home and the area immediately around it needed to be entirely within around. our control. With that in mind, and while I stood atop one of our rickety barricades, I looked to the skyline and saw the promised land. A silhouette against the purple and orange of God's dazzling canvas. Forty-five stories tall, calling to me. There is our new home, I thought. A place where we can flourish on our own terms. In two days, I had our entire community organized and ready to march. Forty-eight desperate but motivated souls prepared to abandon what we had worked so hard to secure for the hope of a brighter future. The journey was through hell itself. So thick with the dead, it took us three sleepless days and nights to travel just a single mile to the tower gates. But by God, we made it. Not one life lost. We did it as one determined heart. One determined 
But as we stood there, gazing up at our future, filled with the hope of what it could become, we knew that the work was far from... Keep your eyes... The tower... Each floor of the 45 infested with the dead. One final challenge that we, the founders of our glorious community, were resolved to overcome by any means necessary. People gonna be pleased when I... I see you. You think you can fuck with us oh, and you play oh. with it? Didn't think this place could ever be more of a ghost town. But...
Think it's wise to be with me now?
You there, Casey? Come in. Yeah, yeah, I I'm here. Wow, <laughs> you're back. Did you get it? Had to deal with some shit. But I got what you needed. I delivered. Now it's... This is great! Finally, some progress. It's a relief. Okay, uh, let me find the manual for that thing, and we can get it calibrated. You're stalling, Casey. I want to hear what you got on the reserve. Not doing anything until you hold up your end. We clear? Yeah, yes. All clear. Okay, the reserve is real, but you already knew that, right? What you don't know is that I am in it. It's an old military bunker built in the 50s or 60s. Right after the flood, the National Guard used it as a staging area to distribute disaster relief supplies. But once the dead started walking and things really went to shit, I had no choice but to get inside and hunker down. I thought I was safe for a little while, but now I'm fucked. The flood water up top was too much for the reserve's pump system. It malfunctioned and... 
Now the whole place is on lockdown. I'm stuck in the comm room. I I'm running out of time. I need to get out of here. Soon. God, I can't wait to see the sky again. I've been working with someone named May. She claims to have a key to the reserve. You know anything about this? If your May is May Benoit, then yeah, yeah, I've heard of her. Tower is always tossing her name around on the airwaves. They're really after her ass. Consider her a major threat. I don't know anything about a key to the reserve, though. I'll do some research. If I discover anything, I I'll let you know. Rumors are all over the place. What exactly is inside the reserve? Most of the rumors are true. Food, meds, tons of it. I mean, the entire hall was meant to help tens of thousands of people in the area after the flood. And there's a bunch of guns, ammo, and gear for the troops that were meant to distribute it. All military-grade, perfect condition. Problem is, I can't get to any of it. The whole bunker is locked down because of the floodwaters. You were the only one to make it inside? Well, no. There were others, but they didn't stay. Um, they had to leave. Who were the others? National Guard, like me. Look, none of this matters right now, so that's all I have to say. What's the rush to get out of there? Starvation, for one. I might have a couple weeks left of scraps down here. But none of that is gonna matter if the flood water sitting on top of this place breaks through. The comm room is filling up slowly right now, but it's only a matter of time before the ceiling collapses. Starvation, crushed or drowned. Pick your poison, right? Drowning sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, well, well with your help, I'm hoping to avoid all of it. Fuck, I'd rather take my chances on the surface with a hundred walkers coming at me. At least I'd have a fighting chance. Look, tourist, I'm not asking you to do this out of the kindness of your heart. I mean, there's clearly something in it for you, uh, uh, big time. If the pumps get repaired, not only will I get out, but the supply rooms will all open up. All those disaster relief supplies, untouched. Not to mention enough weaponry and gear to arm multiple platoons. All for you to do with as you please. And for me? A fresh start and some fresh fucking air. You haven't been up front with me so far. Why should I trust you? Because my life is in your hands. I can't get out of this hole without your help. And look, hey, I get it. I could totally be full of shit. But one thing I know, no one else can offer you what I can. Without me, the reserve is gonna remain buried. Forever. If you want the reserve, you're gonna have to work with me. It's a chance you have to take. I'm willing to take the risk. Oh, fantastic. You won't regret it. Well, it, it's been a long night, but I'm too wired to sleep. I'm gonna turn this place upside down until I find the manual. You should get some rest, though. I'll contact you in the morning. Good night, tourist.
Time to make an example of the old man. We have let his transgressions slide for too long. Okay, track him down, carve him up, hobble him a bit, but let him live. JB would like to have a chat with him. He thinks he might be connected to the voice popping up on the airways from time to time, and you know how JB feels. Time to make an example of the old man. We have let his transgressions slide for too long. Okay, track him down, carve him up, hobble him a bit, but let him live. JB would like to have a chat with him. He thinks he might be connected to the voice popping up on the airways from time to time, and you know how JB feels about competition. All ears should be tuning in to the reclaimed.
Took his ass out. Oh, I'm going to enjoy taking your ass out, too. Let's take this asshole down.
Now it doesn't need Mama anymore. Final warning. Get the fuck out of here! Uh. Rumors are swirling that Mama is planning an exodus from the tower. Where the fuck? That's the tourist.
I think it's wise to be...
sneaking around.
heard something. If you don't get-
around. Ha <laughs> 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 Nothing better to do?
You there? Hello? It's Casey. Are you there? Yeah. Glad to hear your voice. Ready to get started? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, good. So, I found the manual for the pump flow regulator. It looks like we need to calibrate it before it can be installed. Each of the pumps has different flow requirements, and that component tells the rest of the system where to route the water. We should be able to figure this out. I like that attitude. Okay, on the device, you should see a serial number. Read it to me. <coughs> 
473-0589-01. Okay, uh, now turn the dial until you get some feedback on valve A. Uh, uh, then tell me the number you see. Feedback triggered on 55. The numbers turn green. Okay, good. 55. Uh, according to the manual, valve B should be tuned to 28 degrees. Valve B to 28. Got it. Perfect. Okay, uh, last valve. One second, one second. There we go. Valve C should be set to 67. Valve C set. All numbers green. Awesome. Okay, uh, almost there. Now it says, depress the automatic confirmation mechanism. Uh, looking at the diagram here, it's a big round button. Should be obvious. <coughs> All right. Big round button pressed. Yes! Okay, we're calibrated. Now you need to install this sucker into the pump. Uh, the pump, it's, uh, it's located outside of St. Vincent's Church. Beacon lights will be on to help find it, so that's good. Of course, uh, it'll probably attract walkers, so that sucks. Just be ready. The systems down here will let me know when you've installed the regulator. Oh, and uh, one more thing. A little tip that should make life a bit easier and scavenging more fruitful since, you know, we're colleagues now, <laughs> right? The tower has a radio station, number 47, that broadcasts any significant discoveries in the city and the current schedule for stirring the herd. Might be wise to tune in before heading out for the day. Privileged intel, so, you know, let's, uh, let's keep it between us. All right, gonna take a few moments to clear my head. I'll contact you when it's time for the next step. Good luck and thanks. Medical cash confirmed. Buy medicine cash found. Buy water. Med supply located. The shallows. Food stockpile discovered. Old town. Advising scavenge operation. Via Corolla. Scavenge prospects high. Memorial Lane.
the herd via Corolla medicine cash found old town <laughs> 